In this video, I will show you how to make your sound better using Audacity. There are quite some factors to consider for better sound, like a quiet recording environment or a good microphone. But I will keep the focus only on what Audacity offers for sound improvement. These four effects are the effects to make your sound better. If you can apply these four effects with correct settings and correct order, you will get the maximum improvement over your sound. This order is very important as the wrong order will not improve the sound, instead may degrade the audio quality. If you are not happy after applying those, you have to rethink your recording strategy and recording environment. Let's see one by one what are the correct settings for these effects. I will apply the effects to this audio clip and let's hear it a bit. I will improve this sample audio using Audacity. You just heard the unedited audio. The volume level needs to increase and also there are some noises. You see those noises as small dots in the waveform. I will fix the noise and volume level using those four effects. I will make a duplicate of this audio clip so can compare it with the edited one. I will rename this one just to better differentiate between the clips after editing. The first step is noise reduction. To do that I have to select a noise only part from anywhere of the audio clip. Only 0.05 seconds of noise sample is needed for Audacity to recognize. After selecting the noise sample, go to Effects, Noise Reduction. You have to feed Audacity the noise sample and Audacity will search for similar noise to remove. Click on Get Noise Profile. Then select the part of the audio from where you want to remove noise, for me the whole audio. I select all by double-clicking and go to Effects, Noise Reduction again. This time you have to configure noise reduction settings, like how much noise to reduce, or how sensitive it will be to reduce noise. I will keep the default settings for those, and will set the frequency smoothing bands to 1. For a detailed noise reduction guide, please check the I button in the top right corner. Click OK and noise will be reduced. I will just adjust the track size height from view, track size. I will choose fit to height, and it looks better. After noise reduction, you have to do equalization. EQ is a very important step, and doing it right can make the audio quality much better. There are two ways to EQ in Audacity, filter curve, and graphic EQ. The filter curve gives better control, so I will pick that. The strange curve you are now seeing on the screen is my custom EQ. Equalization is the process to boost good frequencies and cut bad frequencies. The problem is there is no fixed answer to which frequency is good or bad. It mainly depends on the voice and the recording itself. So you have to try with different settings and have to find out which is working for you. To find out your EQ, please use a headphone. When it sounds better to your ear after applying an EQ setting, that EQ is the best for you. If you already have some experience, then you can try out this EQ and adjust to get it right. Otherwise, I would suggest starting with simple presets that Audacity offers by default. You can get default presets in Manage, Factory Presets. Many beginners make a mistake by choosing this default bass boost. I will adjust this slider to make it more visible. The default bass boost applies a 9 dB boost to the frequency below 100 Hz. This is a mistake for two reasons. First, people's voice starts with 80 Hz or later. So boosting those lower frequencies only boost noise if there is any. Second, the 9 dB boost is too much. With that much boosting, other frequencies do not synchronize, so voice becomes unnatural. Boosting should not exceed 6 dB. If the bass boost is not good, which one should you apply? You should try with low roll-off for speech. This preset cuts off frequencies less than 100 Hz. As I said earlier, there is no voice in the lower frequencies, so rolling off those remove the noise of lower frequencies. If you want to add some boost to make your voice deeper, you can do that after 100 Hz. For example, if you want a boost between 100 Hz to 200 Hz, you can click on those points. Then you can click in the middle of that and drag to adjust. Please remember to keep the boost lower than 6 dB. I will apply the default roll of speech preset. Click OK and the EQ will be applied. 
To make the sound crisp, you can add some treble boost. I will go to the filter curve again. From the factory preset select the treble boost. Here a boost of 9 dB is set from frequency 4000 Hz and onwards. I will drag it to 6 dB. If treble boost increases sibilance or sharp as too much, start the boost from 5000 Hz or 6000 Hz, click OK to apply treble boost. After EQ is done, it's time to apply the compressor. Compressor minimizes the gap between the loud and quiet voice. For example, if you have whispered in your sound, the compressor will make it loud enough to hear clearly. You have to set a range for your sound. One is from which point when you would consider too loud sound. That is set by threshold. Another one is when to consider a sound like noise. That is set by noise floor. If I set the threshold to minus 9 then only sounds more than minus 9 dB will be considered as loud, and audacity will compress sounds only above that. Minus 15 means anything above minus 15 dB will be considered as loud and audacity will try to bring that down. I will keep it to default minus 12. Noise floor gives audacity the idea how hard the compression should be. A lower noise floor means audacity has to compress loud sounds more, so the gap between a quiet voice and a loud voice will be minimized. A higher noise floor means audacity should not compress too much. Otherwise, noises will become louder. I will apply the default settings. The last setting I will apply is normalization. Normalization is a kind of digital volume controller. The allowed peak amplitude is 0 dB. I will set it to 0 to show what it would do. If I play this audio, you can see in the playback meter how much it has increased. The meter is in the red region. You should aim so the meter is around minus 9 or minus 6. I will undo the last normalization. You can use either Command Z or Control Z to undo. Another way is to view the history and go back to a previous state. I can set any negative value here like minus 1 or so. I already know minus 5 will work fine for this audio, so I will set that. You try with different values and see when the playback meter is around 9 to 6 or 12 to 6 most of the time. Let's play this. I will improve this sample audio using Audacity. Now let's play the unedited one. I will improve this sample audio using Audacity. So using those four steps, you can make your sound better. You can check the I button for noise reduction techniques or software. Or you can check one of these videos on the screen. Please let me know in the comment which video you would like to see next on this channel. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time.